Cool. All right. Drum roll number one. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that was, but uh, that was my my bad sound effect for drum roll. If we had All a right. good podcast producer, he would like hit the drum roll sound effect right now. He did that one time when I said insert drum roll, and he actually did. And I thought, oh well, Ben, I wasn't actually asking you to insert a drum roll, but that was pretty good. We're really so. asking you now. Okay, here we go. Leave a break for the drum roll. Okay, this is a surprising one. Episode three sixty one. The 80-20 rule to streamlining your e-commerce business. And the question is, Mike, do you remember which episode this is? Because it might not be what you think it is. It was Under the Hood, right? It was Under the Hood with Nick Dillon of Old Delhi Music. And this was basically an episode talking about mm. setting up an India factory. But, okay, so the 80-20 rule, because I, now that you mentioned, uh, I remember that episode actually quite well, it was basically like, stop trying to like create all these SKUs and do everything for like everyone and focus on the 20% that makes you the 80%. Yeah, that was the overall gist. But then okay. as kind of a side note to it all, he also ran an India factory, which I guess is part of the compelling thing with that episode is there's a lot of stuff about the 80-20 rule. And then kind of as a side note, oh yeah, he runs the factory in India too. I, I love this episode. I love Nick. Um, love the niche. You know, just very defensible, high quality, custom made, you know, intellectual property, factory defensible. I mean, like just all the stuff like you really look for, and you like you're not going to just go to China and like off of Alibaba and source these these products. Um, definitely a really neat episode. I, I surprised it landed at number one. It's interesting how things kind of shake out over the year, uh, but I'm not surprised it was in the top five. And certainly now that you mentioned it was number one, I think it's definitely worth going back and, and taking a listen. So I actually haven't had a chance to listen to it, but basically Nick was guilty of potentially launching a bunch of SKUs where he had a bunch of SKUs, most of them with minimal traffic and revenue. And he had a couple that were really home runs, but he kept on kind of putting some of his attention on these low performing SKUs. Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. And, you know, He's a smaller, it's a smaller company. And so like, I mean, it's one thing to go do all that stuff when you're, you know, much larger, when you're $10 million and you're trying to expand. And, and at some point, I think it does make sense to try to be, I don't know about, not everything to everybody, but certainly have a more well-rounded, complete catalog, let's say. You don't want to miss those other sales and you're capitalized enough and, and streamlined enough that uh, it makes sense. Maybe you're throwing a few extra SKUs into your container and just getting your shipping more efficient. It, like at some point it starts to make more sense. But when you're a, a one man band, no pun, no pun intended. Um, see what I just did there like that. Um, you know, it, it's much more, much more difficult to, uh, to try to, to do all these different things. And, you know, it's certainly been a wake up call for me, you know, even, you know, we, we, we do a lot as well. And we're trying to scale down some of that. Um, you know, I think that if you do one thing really well, you're going to do that a lot better than if you try to do 10 things halfway. Yeah. And one of the things I try to apply to my businesses is kind of like a workout methodology. So if you're trying to work out and build a bunch of muscle, what you do is you bulk and you put on a lot of basically weight. And with that, there's going to be a lot of fat, but it's part of the whole process. So you put on a bunch of weight and it's going to help you build muscle quicker. You might get some fat. And then when you want to get that nice lean Dwayne Johnson look, you trim down and you sacrifice a little bit of your muscle, but you just basically cut weight. And that's basically the approach I take when I'm doing product development is I'll launch 10 SKUs after about a year, take a look at them and say, okay, well, three or four of these are doing really well. Let's cut out the other bottom half of these SKUs because all they're doing is most of most importantly is taking away my attention and my time, not to mention all the cash flow and everything else that goes with it. But most importantly, it's just taking away time, not just for myself as well, but from our team. So that's kind of my methodology with product development is, yeah, try to bulk up and produce quite a few SKUs at once, but then also at the same time, be pretty quick at trimming them down as time goes by.